Hi guys, it's Delicracy here and welcome to a brand new reaction video with your spiritual gangsta! <laughs> I'm very excited to look at this brand new Sims 4 trailer. I have not seen it yet, so let's check it out because that's what we do now. We're a reaction channel, everyone. How's that for some hot tea for ya? Let's check it out. In The Sims 4 Get Famous, stars rise and fall in the new world of Del Sol Valley. Mirage Park, home to talented up-and-comers, struggling actors, musicians hoping for a break, even overconfident influencers all chasing their dreams. The road to fame leads to Starlight Boulevard, where the world's hottest celebrities go to be seen. Here, you'll find the Valley's most exclusive club. To cross the velvet rope, your Sims will need to build up their fame level. There are many ways to get famous. Cross paths with an A-lister, be a child of celebrity parents, donate to your favorite charity. As your Sims gain fame, they'll unlock perks, strike a pose, be a trendsetter, roll with an entourage. But be warned, with perks, come with works. Awkward. <laughs> Plum Bob Pictures, where a dedicated few follow their dreams of becoming an actor. The new active career in Get Famous. Once on set, head to wardrobe then hair and makeup. Rehearse with your co-stars. Hit your marks. Improve your acting skills. Take big risks. And your sim can become a global superstar. Soon, your sim will have all of Del Sol Valley wanting more. More simoleons, more problems. The biggest celebrities take refuge in the pinnacles. Here, your sims can look down on the world while enjoying the finer things in life. Sleeping pods, pet sharks, tiger everything. Woo, a golden throne. There's plenty of ways to spend money and plenty of sins to spend it with. That is a fantastic trailer. I loved that trailer. I think they absolutely smashed that out of the ballpark, which reminds me, don't forget to smash that notification bell. Often I'm not really a huge fan of the music they pick to put in uh, Sims 4 trailers, but I have to say I really like the music in this one. It's very like boppy. I'm all for it. And I think the voiceover guy in terms of a tone of voice, the script, he was really good at it. So let's do what we always do and pick apart the trailer into many little pieces pieces and taste them and consume them and get excited and we can indulge in all of it. I think I'm kind of hungry because I feel like I want to eat this trailer. All right, so we have the logo come out. We're in Del Sol Valley. Now, of course, just so you guys know, I was lucky enough to play this at Sims Camp a couple of weeks ago. So I am aware of a lot of the stuff in the trailer already, which is good because I can actually tell you guys about a few things and explain it to you rather than just trying to figure out exactly what's going on. I love the new creator sim items. There are so many fantastic items. This is one of the dresses, new necklace and earrings, which I absolutely adore. This is on set, uh, some actors fighting with the new backdrops. And this is, I think it's called like Starlet Boulevard or something like that. And yes, your celebrity sims can get a little star on the Boulevard. We have paparazzi over to the left, over here as well, and a celebrity here with a mohawk with some adoring fans. It's a nice view of Mirage Park, which is where you can get your starter home. And it's a very, very detailed neighborhood like the detail in this is really really cool almost so detailed it's slightly off brand for the sims i feel but i don't think it's off brand in a bad way it's just like a very it's just something we've never seen before the detail in this and there are a lot of like rvs and cars and stuff like that which everyone is like i want cars more than ever before now <laughs> this girl is actually practicing her script i think which you can do and this is really cool this is an object um, this is like a music mixing station where you can mix your own music. And this is a new bomber jacket, new hair, new pants. I absolutely love these clothes. I think they're so nice. This girl's at the music mixing station 
And then this guy is acting with a ring light. So you can actually make videos and upload them, which is really, really awesome. So you can be like a full on YouTube and up YouTuber and upgrade your lights and do beauty reviews where the sim will actually pull out beauty products and be like, ooh, what's this? And I love this guy's in his underwear. That was quite funny. Pot plant, pot plant, love it. And I know I'm Australian and we call them pot plants. I know, I know what it sounds like to you naughty people. The drones are so amazing. I love that there's drones in this pack and I'm so glad they added them in. There are two types of drones. There's this one, which is more, I think there's two, there might be three, but this one's more normal looking. And then the other one's like this little round like character. You can see it in my gameplay videos that I released. And this is a new jacket. It's the Samaj jacket. So cool. And it can just follow your sim around. It can record the neighborhood. You can then put that into a video, edit it at the video editing station and post it to your channel and make money that way. And then this is Starlight Boulevard. Okay, so I kind of got it right where there's this very much Hollywood looking world. And this is where you might spot your celebrities. How good is this shot? I love this with all of the Sims, like absolutely freaking out. I wish you could do this in gameplay. I don't think it's going to really appear like this. I wish it did. And this is a new hairdo. Love that, love the earrings. Oh, I just realized that earring goes behind the ear, which is pretty nice. Um, and she's got the new celebrity walk that you unlock, I think at level 10 celebrity. Um, yeah, look at that, such a good strut. Also the celebrities do have a starry shine around them, like a celebrity aura. Of course they knew that might frustrate a few people so you can easily turn it off. That's not a problem. It's not a problem anymore. I love you, Troom Troom. This is a lot. The limousine doesn't work. It's not an item, unfortunately. It's just there for decor, but can we please get some limousines in the game? There's this amazing rooftop bar. So yeah, this is like an exclusive club you can go into. I liked that camera movement. This dress is everything. This is my new dress that I'm gonna be obsessed with because you know I love making the wealthy over the top surgery mummy sims. I just love doing that. It's just so far from from what I experience in my life that it's so much fun to create. So I love that lady. And uh, it almost looks like she's kind of stealing this guy from this lady and she's like, um, excuse me, can you get away from my man? Which I'm sure happens all the time in Hollywood. Look at these little snackies over there. Are those new snackies? You're a snack. Oh no, this girl can't get into the club. There are going to be bouncers. Now, I don't think they're bodyguards. They are bouncers out the front of the venue. And I believe they'll show up when you use an item with these ropes. It's a, there's a couple of doors with them, like VIP doors. What if I pay you? Is he gonna let her in? He's like, ooh. Actually, you know what? I might take that cash. <laughs> Over here's a gym. I think we got new gym equipment, which we have so many treadmills in the game. It's kind of like the same thing as having so many toilets. We don't need more. <laughs> I mean, I'll take more. I'll happily take more, but I would be much happier if the effort put into these were put into different objects, I think. I mean, they're beautiful, beautiful designs though. They're really nicely designed. So you can meet people at the gym and your kids can even be born into famous families and be given a celebrity status that way. <laughs> I love this girl. She's like, I'm just so famous. You can totally make like Suri Cruz. I love this dress. I love the colors this dress comes in. Ooh, and there's the new little shoes that you can get. There's some really cool kid shoes. Actually, that girl was wearing a new dress from the pack as well. It's, it comes in some colorways that make me just think Versace. <laughs> love this jumpsuit as well, which we've seen a few times now. And I love how they blur the background like that. And it's really well made, this trailer. This jacket's everything. I really, really love it. And I also like this hairdo with the gold in it. Also, this guy is wearing a suit that you unlock as well. Maybe it's level 10 celebrity that you unlock this or level 10 acting, I think. Cause it's the acting skill. There's no celebrity skill, but there's like celebrity levels. That's why I keep saying level 10 celebrity. You can unlock that. A few new wall decorations. This dress is everything. This hair is so extra. So this is the 
fame info panel. This is where you get your quirks from um, and you can spend your fame points on special things. And obviously you level up. The quirks are interesting because that means that you can have a celebrity who like doesn't like to be touched or maybe they have fans that faint around them, which they show in this trailer. And there's also a couple of different reputations. So you can have a positive reputation or a negative one. And depending on which one you're in, you're going to be receiving different opportunities in the game. I'll leave it at that. And you can obviously opt out if you don't want any of that. Um, so the higher you go, the more you unlock, which is exciting. So the fan favorite is the quirk where everyone's like, oh my gosh, you get a lot of people like absolutely loving your sim and fainting. <laughs> the trailblazer is really cool because it means your sims outfits and trends will start appearing on all the sims around them, which I think is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> like, look at this. They even have his little hat. And I like that it's in different colorways. So they're not going to look all exactly the same, but they're going to kind of enjoy the general gist of your Sims style. Here are the pants you unlock. They're pretty cool. Love this jacket. Really, really nice design. Uh, these are a couple of hairs that have turned up uh, in our free updates, I believe. New jacket there as well. Super, super nice. Um, and yeah, a squad means you can have like a squad of Sims around you all the time, I think. Look at that pose. Look at the poses that they're showing. I don't think you have this red carpet moment in the game. I think that's only in the trailer. I could be wrong, but I didn't experience that in my gameplay. So I don't think that happens. I don't know, maybe. This one's awesome, an obsessed fan. This is me if I ever met Kevin MacLeod. I love him. Plum Bob Pictures is really cool. So when you join the acting career, you will go to Plum Bob Pictures. This is your workplace where there's different sets and your set will change depending on what acting gig you're doing. You will go into wardrobe, you will get dressed, you will um, have your makeup done before you get started and you will dress according to whatever job you're working on. So whether that be a Western theme or of an alien theme, ouch. <laughs> And then there are the awards. Now they did show the awards ceremony in the last stream. And I have to say it was a little underwhelming. I get it. They can't spawn a lot of Sims on one lot, but I just feel like the crowd was very small. There wasn't much of a stage. It was like an intimate award ceremony. So it isn't really looking like what they crack it up to be in the trailer, which is a little misleading, I think, because she is accepting her award, but then it looks like there's like all these people around. I mean, I guess it's not that misleading, but it's kind of misleading because the award ceremony is like really, really small. I don't know, love this jacket. But you do get swarms of Sims around your Sim. You do have that happen. Like there will be crowds around your Sim taking pictures. The Pinnacles is my favorite part of the world. I love it. I love this view. It's so cool. It looks so much like real Hollywood. I love it. I have to say, I definitely agree that there are not enough lots in this pack. I was surprised. I feel I, I don't know what restrictions the Sims team had in making the world or if they just thought, oh, we don't need that many lots. I'm not sure what is going on behind the scenes but to me as a player it makes the gameplay so much more fun the bigger the world is and the more lots you have especially with terrain manipulation coming there aren't any builds i don't think using the terrain manipulation in this pack like no existing builds which was also a little bit like no i would have liked to see what you can do with terrain manipulation um, whereas these are all flat lots so i don't know if they knew before the pack that terrain was coming so maybe they just didn't have it in there but it would be nice to see those line up look at that beautiful view beautiful dresses the world looks amazing and of course you can live a life of serious luxury in these <laughs> floating pods which are really quite funny um and a shark pool that's pretty cool whoever decided that there was going to be a whole heap of animal prints we're gonna say it's fur because i cannot deal with the fur situation i am so grateful that they put this in because i've missed the animal prints in the sims 4 the fur animal prints it's so extra it's so over the top but it suits so many amazing sim characters that we create 
Look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? All the gold and the shiny. Look how much this looks like Versace. That is Versace. I love this. And the, okay, I know I said before that we have way too many toilets in the game. I will let this one slide because this is a golden throne and that is amazing. <laughs> I also do love the uh, swan bathtub. That's pretty cool. And the marble uh, wall and flooring and these pillars, really, really, really nice. Extra, extra build and buy mode objects that we don't already have. So I like it. I love the luxury element. I'm all about that. And this guy, oh my gosh, did she just burn simoleons? I missed that. Oh my gosh. She's like, ah, ha, ha, ha. I love that. That's hilarious. I'm so inspired for my own gameplay now. Oh, and you can woohoo in your safe. So yeah, this is available November 16th. I believe I will have early access to it, which means I'll be able to hopefully get the goods to you before it comes out so you guys can see if you wanna get it, what you think of it. We're going to be doing a ton of gameplay. I'm going to be really diving into it hardcore. So I am so excited to share that with you. I just can't wait to share it with you guys. That girl's literally going to be me when I have it in my hands. Oh my God. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Do let me know what you think of this trailer review. Give it a like if you are excited for the pack. As always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I cannot wait to speak to you soon. Susu! -so.